Okay, standby divers coming down. Sean, go ahead and give us a good play by play once you get down there. My name is Don Barthelmus and I'm a professor of marine technology at Santa Barbara City College. The Marine Diving Technology Program is a, is a career technical education program. We train commercial divers and marine technicians how to work underwater. They also learn how to obtain the skills to support underwater operations by working topside. The program takes anywhere from two semesters for just the core diving program you lead with an industry certification, and that's what the majority of students are seeking, is a commercial diving certification so that they can go to work. Or you can stay an additional two semesters or two years and earn an Associate of Science degree in marine technology. Specifically, we really focus on submarine underwater operations. But we can support um, anything from the surface to the bottom. This skill which the students are doing is really a, a last resort, but it's a, it's a confidence building skill and it's an equipment familiarization skill. They're actually buddy breathing with their, their diving headgear. They're switching their band mask back and forth underwater so that they get used to handling the equipment in an extreme situation. It's, it's extremely unlikely that commercial divers would ever have to do this, but marine tech students gain the confidence that they know that they could do it if they actually had to. Diving is just a unique means to get to a work site. It's, it's not so much the diving that is important. It's what you do when you get there. And after we introduce the students to the equipment and the diving techniques and how to get to the work site, we have to train them what they're going to be doing. And underwater welding and underwater burning is, is a very uh, unique skill that is, is, is commonly done underwater in commercial diving jobs. Decompression chambers are used as a tool routinely in commercial diving operations. It's very expensive to decompress a diver in the water for the, the long amounts of time that's required in a deep diving operation. So we use a concept we call surface decompression where the diver completes a portion of his water stops in the actual water and then we bring the diver directly to the surface, quickly undress the diver and place him inside a decompression chamber where he can complete the remaining decompression time inside a dry, controlled environment. If a diver's coming to the surface, we just don't want them to go back down, so just pull them in. Or pull them up. But once they get to the top, pull them to the side so they don't go back down. Successful students in the Marine Tech program are students that are serious about the career, that are responsible, that show up on time, and they're willing to learn. Take anybody that has those qualities and place them into the commercial diving industry, provided that they have the right attitude. Attitude supersedes aptitude in many cases in this industry. Somebody that wants to be here. Um, you can't be here because your parents want you to be here, and you can't be here because you think it's fun. You, you gotta wanna do it.